Hey people, welcome back to another lockdown tutorial. So today we'll be doing the remaining part of median. And okay, I would even want to look at this interval 110 to 119. And it starts from 120 to 129. Now I can still see many of you are confused when an interval is an exclusive or an inclusive. Look at it guys, I'll just show you one example, 0 to 20 and it starts from 20 to 40, ends in 40 and it starts from 40 to 60. So this is an exclusive interval or a ready-made stuff. But now if you see out here, it ends in 119 and it does not start from 119, it starts from 120. So this is not your ready-made interval, this is an inclusive interval. Why don't you all get it people? I can see many of you are still confused in this so what kind of interval is this inclusive interval it ends in 119 does not start in 119 it starts from 120 so this is an inclusive interval well look out here again one more example ends in 20 it starts from 20 this is an exclusive interval or ready-made interval where you don't need to do anything so now this is an inclusive interval ends in 119 starts from 120 ends in 120 129 starts from 130 so if it had started from 129, then it would be exclusive. But it does not start with 129, it starts with 130. That's why it's an inclusive interval. So firstly, again, we all know inclusive must be converted to exclusive. So by now, I'll expect everyone to be very much aware of what is an exclusive and what is an inclusive. Exclusive is ready-made, 0 to 20, 20 to 40. While inclusive is not ready-made, you need to make you need to make inclusive into exclusive okay we all know the rules by now so what's the rule guys so let's use the same language waiting grams waiting grams okay so for people with nepali they can write in nepali i'm so sorry i'm writing this in nepali okay forget that you can just ignore that so waiting grams waiting grams okay now if you realize properly every time Whenever it is an inclusive interval, I use the word class boundary. So please use the word class boundary. Okay. So here don't be confused. Whatever is written in the question, you write that thing only. In the question, it was written weight in grams. I wrote weight in grams. Okay. So now when I'm converting this inclusive to exclusive, what I'll write out here? Class boundary. Okay. So how do we do? You all know from the lower limit, we subtract 0 0.5. From the upper limit, we add 0 0.5. So subtract 0 0.5 from the lower limit. So what comes before 110? Do I need to show you all in rough work? Okay people, so let's subtract 0 0.5 from here. So in the rough work, always this space for rough work. 110 means where is the point? The point is here. And I need to subtract 0 0.5 from the lower limit. You all know that. 0 0.5. Always remember points should be in one same line. And zeros and balance it. So borrow 1, 10 minus 5, 5. This has become, since you have borrowed 1, this has become 9, 9, this 1 has been borrowed, so it's 0, so it's 109.5, so the lower limit becomes 109.5, and in the upper limit, what should you do, this is minus, and this is the upper limit, 119, what do we do in the upper limit, add 0 0.5, so 119 means point is here, and you're adding 0 0.5, okay, I'm just showing it to you all. Okay, so this is how we, now this inclusive interval is converted into exclusive interval. So that way only let's continue. So you don't need to, for now, I'm just showing it to you all, how do we do this? But if you use the logic, you don't need to show the rough work. Okay, 120, so what's before 120? It's 119, so this will be 119.5. Okay, and this 129 will become 129.5. Is it okay? So what will this 130 become? What is before 130? 120 because we are subtracting. So 130 will become 129.5. We are just subtracting 0 0.5. And this 139 will become 139.5. That will only fill up everything people. Do it yourself. Okay people. So the last one 180. What comes before 180? 179. So it will become 179.5. And 189 if we add it will become 189.5. Now since we are doing median, we need to find cumulative frequency. Fill up this frequency table from the question that's applied to us. Let's do cumulative frequency. Again, I could see many students getting things wrong at the first shot only. So this 5 will become this 5 only. 
and this cumulative frequency for the second interval will be this 5 and this 7 please so or else you will be copying from your friend and I won't be able to understand whether you have understood or not now this 12 plus this 12 makes it 24 that will be this 24 plus 20 makes it 44 continue that way only people ok I come to the last limit 77 the last cumulative frequency 77 plus this 3 is 80 equals to n so I need to find the median I need to find the median so if you are finding median what we do we need to find n by 2 so I have it's captured in the camera ok here n by 2 equals to what's the value of n 80 80 by 2 equals to how much 40 see where does 40 fall guys can you see 40 falls here between this and this 40 falls here yes or no guys so that means can you see this make a table out here so this is my median class so let's make the habit of writing median class this way so that there is no more confusion make a box and write median class okay now I know my formula what's the formula we know okay median equals to L plus n by 2 minus cf by f into h so let's put down the values here l you know the meaning of l what is l we will speak l is the lower limit of median class so what's the lower limit of median class go to the median class so what's the lower limit 140 or 139 what's, what should we write tell me people yes i want to show this confusion i wanted to show this confusion so that everyone would be aware of this confusion so what would be the lower limit of median class this or this so since you have converted inclusive into exclusive so this will be the lower limit of median class that means the value of l is 139.5 value of l is 139.5 okay people then n by 2 up it's captured in camera okay n by 2 is I've already taken out 40 CF okay what is the meaning of CF listen to me properly cumulative frequency of class preceding median class so this is the median class cumulative frequency of class preceding median class this is the cumulative frequency so how much 24 yes my CF is 24 okay what is the meaning of F frequency of median class go to the median class what is the frequency of median class this is the frequency table can you all see that frequency yes so what's the frequency of median class 20 so let's fill it out here frequency is 20 and h is the class size okay see so again which one to take if i take this class size would be 9 if i take this the class size would be 10 so please be very careful since this is inclusive i will not take anything of this i'll have to take everything from here so let's subtract upper limit minus lower limit so 149.5 minus 139.5 5 10.0 means you can just consider this as 10 okay people so now I have everything ready again since median means what people write the formula as many times you want you will become more perfect this is the formula yes or no let's put down the values what's l 139.5 plus what's n by 2 40 what's cf 24 what's f 20 into what's h 10 if you can cancel this and this always always be free to cancel plus 40 minus 24 is how much 16 by 2 yes or no people 2 into 8 times let me show it to you all in the rough walk how to add up so 139.5 plus 8 if I just write 8 the point is here and absolutely whenever you add a subtract point must be in one same line 
917 so it becomes 147.5 is our median so the value of median is 147.5 so this is how we solve these are looking at people this was for inclusive interval for inclusive interval so remember inclusive must be converted to exclusive and everything must be taken from exclusive even the lower limit and even class size or class length also and make the habit of writing median class this way okay people check here okay, people, let's take down another question again this will be a class work. find the median marks and number of students are given to us 0 to 4 and then again it starts from 5 to 9 so what kind of interval is this exclusive or inclusive 0 to 4 does not start from 4 it starts from 5 so this is not a ready-made interval this is an inclusive interval if it was exclusive then it should be 0 to 4 and from here it should be 4 to 8 then that is an exclusive interval so this is an inclusive interval again we all know the rules inclusive must be converted to exclusive the only reason why I'm showing you this is again I've told you this first table whatever is given in the question it was written marks you write marks now since you're converting inclusive to exclusive write class boundary okay so the only reason why why I wanted to do this was okay for now let's take this so let's convert this into exclusive so subtract 0.5 from 5 so you are subtracting 0.5 from 5 so this will become what 4.5 we all know the rules add 0.5 to this this will become what 9.5 I don't need to show this again 10 if you subtract 0.5 this will become what 9.5 you don't need to show rough work if you are perfect with this 14 will become what 14.5 subtract 0.5 to the lower limit add 0.5 now the only reason why I'm doing this question is what will happen to this what will happen to 0 so now you have to go beyond 0 as soon as you go beyond 0 it will become minus I hope you all know that okay just listen to me properly minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 then plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 if you remember the number line do you all remember the number line 0 is here plus 1 plus 2 and this side it's minus 1 minus 2 if you remember the number line okay so this is 0 if you are subtracting 0.5 from 0 then this will become minus 0 0.52 and this 4 you add 0.5 it will become 4.5 the only reason why I did this question was I wanted to show that this would become minus 0 0.5 but it makes no difference out here so cumulative frequency fill it up yourself 4 this will become what 4 plus Five equals to nine then this will become what nine plus seven equals to sixteen and then don't do the remaining yourself because see can you see this so do the remaining yourself draw a long line complete it yourself the only reason why I did this question was I wanted to show that this zero would become minus 0 0.5 that's it I've just filled up three tables there are one two three four five six seven eight eight tables more to do which you'll do yourself as yeah classwork okay check the next one again find the median again a table is supplied to our supplied out here and so you need to find the median look at the table oh my god it looks so odd 93 to 97 and then all of a sudden 80 to 92 oh my god 83 to 87 we are not used to seeing this kind of intervals yes or no people 93 to 97 and then again all of a sudden it's 88 to 92 oh my god it looks confusing but relax guys relax whenever you see this kind of thing don't be confused look from this side look from this side so what's the first thing 63 to 67 then what's the second thing 68 to 72 and what's the next thing 73 73 to 77 so don't you think this is arranged yes people if you see it this way it looks confusing but if you see it this way it's just like the normal thing which you have already done so let's fill it up so if you again if you see it this way it's confusing but if you see it this way it's like our normal intervals which we have been doing I think as far as I'm, it's an inclusive interval okay 63 to 67 okay what's the next one 68 to 72 what's the next one 73 to 77 next one I have it's captured in camera 78 to 82 then 
Can you see? Now 63 to 67 and it is starting from 68. So this is an inclusive interval. So inclusive must be converted into exclusive. So as soon as I have to convert inclusive to exclusive, what will I write here? Class boundary. Okay. So what will happen? Subtract 0.5 from here. This will become what? 62.5 and add 0.5 here. It will become 67.5. Now this has become your exclusive interval okay one more 68 will become what subtract 0 0.5 67.5 add 0 0.5 72.5 that only fill it up yourself frequencies it's given in the question 12 15 fill it yourself cumulative frequency you'll know how to do 12 and the second one will become 12 plus 15 equals to 27 we'll continue this way and you'll solve it the only reason why i did this question was i wanted to so sometimes the question might come this way don't be confused use your brain see the question this way is that okay or not and after seeing the question this way I realized this is an inclusive interval so inclusive was converted into exclusive you all can do that subtract 0 0.5 from the lower limit add 0 0.5 to the upper limit and then put the frequencies put the cumulative frequencies or do the cumulative frequencies by adding and then follow the same old method and then solve it okay people let's take down another question so this will be less than type varieties okay so the question is supplied to us and we need to find the median what we need to find find the median okay remember solving less than type tables less than type remember what happens with the frequency okay we check how much is the gapping gapping of 10 so I make a gapping of 10 so less than 10 since there's a gapping of 10 so it will be from 0 to 10 that will give a gapping of 10 and then see what happens with the frequencies the first frequency remains the same the second one gets from the second one you start subtracting i've already explained this in my previous video when we solved arithmetic mean so if you are confused on how to do this you can go back to that video okay so let's come back out here again less than 10 less than 20 how much is the gapping 10 so less than 10 and there's a gapping of 10 means it will become 0 to 10 so less than 20 will become 10 to 20 less than 30 will become 20 to 30 can you see there's a gapping of 10 why because there's a gapping of 10 out here also less than 40 will become 30 to 40 less than 50 will become 40 to 50 less than 60 will become 50 to 60 okay so be careful with the frequencies be very very careful what's the first frequency the first frequency will not change i've told you why so i'm not explain that right now the second frequency will become this 15 minus 8 this one will become this 29 minus 15 which is 14 this 42 minus 29 so I'm sorry this is 13 so here 60 minus 42 will be 18 this one will be 70 minus 60 I want everyone to show this so now your less than type table has been converted into a simple table so let's do it uh, I think I'll use class boundary okay I'll use class boundary okay and then I'll use frequency and then I'll use cumulative frequency okay so under the class boundary I can just put the new class boundaries that I've got 0 to 10 10 to 20, 22, 30, 32, 40, 40 to 50, 50 to 60. Okay. And then fill up the frequencies. What are the frequencies? See, these are the frequencies. This, not this. These are the frequencies. 8, 7. So what's the first frequency? 8. So what's the second frequency? 7 this is what I wanted to show what's the third frequency 14 what's the next one I have it's captured in camera 13 18 and 10 and then you all know how to find the cumulative frequency so the first one will become 8 and the second one will become 8 plus 7 equals to 15 that when you'll find all the cumulative frequency after that find n
Okay, so let me do this question for you. So 15 and this will become 15 plus 14 is 29. Up it's capture 29 plus 13, 29, 30 to 42. 42 and 18 will become 60. And then 60 plus 10 becomes 70 equals to N. Okay, so let's do here N by 2 will be how much 70 by 2 which means 35 where will 35 fall check the cumulative frequency I think it falls here yes or no if it falls here this is a median class yes or no guys median class make a habit and then let's put the formula we know what's the formula of median median equals to L plus N by 2 minus CF by F into H yes or no so what's the meaning of L what's the meaning of L L is the lower limit of median class what's the lower limit of median class 30 N by 2 how much is N by 2 N by 2 is 35 okay let's get the meaning of CF CF is what cumulative frequency of class preceding median class so that means this is your CF can you see this cumulative frequency so what is a CF 29 okay so what's the value of F F is the frequency of median class this is median class how much 13 and what's your H H is subtract upper limit minus lower limit 40 minus 30 is 10 so put down the values and let's try getting the answer since median equals to L plus N by 2 minus CF by F into H let's put the values what's the value of L 30 what's the value of N by 2 35 what's the value of CF 29 what's the value of F 13 into H what's the value of H 10 okay let me draw a line out here let's try to do it out here so median equals to so 30 let's put an implies out here 35 minus 29 is 16 sorry 6 6 by 13 into 10 yes or no people so if this if nothing cancels relax 6 into 10 is 60 by 13 yes or no in the rough work Always do the division. Can you see this? You can take out LCM and you or else you could divide. Okay, people, I'm showing you how to divide. I hope everyone can see 13 and 60. So 13 into 4 times is 52. Okay. Put a decimal, you can add 0. Yes or no, people? 13 into 6 times is 78. 2. Since you already have a decimal, you can put 0. 13 into 1 times is 13. 7 since there is a decimal you can put 0 out here 13 into 5 times is 65 T 10 minus 5 5 after point always go till the fourth digit okay since there is a decimal you can add 0 here 13 into 3 times is 39 okay it will keep on going now okay 4.6153 now let's take it till the fourth digit if you are always go till the fourth digit now let's take it till the third digit in order to decide the third digit this will help us so since it is less than five so this does not give anything it will remain like this only okay now let's go till the second digit 4.6 now can you see this third digit since it's more than five or five it will give one so this will become 4.62 so you can leave it till here so now 30 means the point is here plus 4.62 Okay, zero zeros two six thirty four point six two. I need to show this. I did not want to show this, but I thought, Chalo, let's do one more for the kids. Okay, it's very easy. Solve it this way, people. Okay, this was the question less than type. Okay, people, so we don't have question of this type in the book. This type, one unknown for median. 
we have two unknowns i'll be doing that we don't have one median but i want to show it to you all so if the median is 85 we need to find x so median is given to you median is 85 it's given to you you need to find the value of x can you see the table is supplied to you this is x this is what we need to find the value of x it could be anything it could be f it could be a it could be any alphabet let's check the table first let's check the interval 51 to 61 61 to 71 71 to 81 so what kind of interval is this exclusive or inclusive people speak so this is an exclusive interval so exclusive means what guys ready-made be happy so these are ready-made stuff for you okay so here median is supplied every time we used to find median but median is given to us we need to find the value of this unknown so let's try solving this let me draw a table first okay people now i come to this x so this 38 and then this 38 plus x will give me what 38 plus x please don't write 38x it's 38 plus x now this 38 plus x and this 17 38 and 17 if you add you get 55 so it will become 55 plus x is it okay now it's captured in camera and this 55 plus x plus this 11 makes it 56 66 plus x okay and then this 66 plus x plus 9 makes it 75 plus x okay okay people so equals to n so remember we should do here n by 2 this n which means 75 plus x by 2 just write it this way don't be confused this will not help us in deciding the median class look here what is given to us median is 85 so when you get this kind of question with unknowns this will help us in finding the median class so median is 85 so if the median is 85 check your class intervals where will 85 fall 81 to 91 so here 85 is here why this way because median is supplied to us so this is the first time we are doing this kind of question median was supplied to us and this will help us in finding the median class so median 85 means it falls here so this is our median class okay people why because median was given to us this is our what median class so this time this is not going to help us but we need this okay so let's sort of, let's write down the formula we know median equals to l plus n by 2 minus c f by f into h by now i think we all know the meaning of everything h sorry l what's the meaning of l l is the lower limit of median class this is our median class what's the lower limit 81 n by 2 we've already found out 75 plus x by 2 the only reason why i did this question was because this question is different we need to find the value of x we don't have this question in the both book okay okay cf i think now you all know the meaning of cf cf is what people cumulative frequency of class preceding median class preceding means this one so what's your cf 38 what's the value of f frequency of median class what's the frequency of median class x what's the frequency of median class x is that okay or not guys so this is what we need to find x okay class size class size subtract 91 minus 81 91 minus 81 means 10 is it okay or not guys so people just remember one thing although we find n by 2 out here but this n by 2 does not help us in finding the median class if the median is given to us the median is given this value of median will help us in finding the median class 85 would fall here is that okay or not so now let's try solving again again median equals to l plus n by 2 minus cf by f into h okay now guys we need to find the value of this unknown this unknown x what is supplied to us median how much 85 so what is supplied to us median it's given in the question how much 85 equals to what's the value of l we've just found out 81 plus n by 2 is what 75 plus x by 2 
don't confuse yourself write it this way precisely minus cf cumulative frequency is how much 38 okay people make this a bit longer draw a long line what's the value of f f is x into what's the value of h 10 app it's captured in the camera so people don't panic don't panic can you see this 81 take it that side it becomes 85 minus 81 okay relax I'll just focus on this part just focus on this part think there is one here think there is one here so take out LCM of 2 and 1 what's LCM of 2 and 1 2 so I've taken this 81 this side I don't have anything out here make this long line out here firstly I'm taking a take make taking out LCM of this 2 and 1 draw line here so what's LCM of 2 and 1 2 so 2 into how many times 1 times 1 into this will make no difference so 1 into 75 plus x will make no difference minus 1 into how many times 2 times now 2 into 38 you can do it directly also but I don't believe you all into this 10 is it okay till here so I think I okay, people let's continue 85 minus 81 is 4 okay can you see this big divide sign make a big divide sign so that there is no confusion this axis here avoid all the confusion people into 10 so 1 into 75 is 75 1 into x is x minus 2 into 38 is 76 by this two don't forget don't forget this two guys can you all see this two this two is this two please do not forget I can see almost all the students will forget to write this too. So don't repeat that mistake. 4 equals to now 75 and 76. You do the subtraction. The larger number has a minus sign. So it will become minus 1 plus x by this 2. And can you see this big divide sign? Yes. So that there is no confusion. Is that okay or not? Now let me just focus on the space. Let's forget the space. Okay, give me a minute. Let me just focus on the space. Up it straight. Yes. Now, 4 equals to. Let's make this divide sign multiply. What happens when you make that divide sign multiply? Think this is x by 1. This will become 1 by x. I hope you all remember this. Is this okay or not? App it's captured in camera. 4 equals to. No, no, you are not allowed to cancel this way. No, 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 because this is added by this, joined by this plus sign. So 1 into this will give me this much only. This one will get multiplied. 2 into x is 2x into 10. Is this okay or not, people? So in the next step, let me do it out here. Let me do it out here this 10 you can take it that side now since it is connected with the multiply sign okay you might get confused so let's just write it this way open 10 into minus 10 minus 10 10 into x 10x by 2x is this okay or not I think there is one across multiply 4 and 2x with 1 you cross multiply makes no difference is this okay people 4 into 2x is 8x minus 10 plus 10x bring xx to the left hand side 8x minus 10x sign changes minus 10 minus 2x if you subtract minus 10 cancel the minus sign it's equals to 10 by 2 which means x equals to 5 so the value of this unknown x oh the value of this unknown x is how much Five. So remember, median was given to us 85, and this became the median class. And a few things that you need to remember. Write it this way. Take out the LCM out here. Don't confuse yourself. And please, don't forget this too. Okay. Make this big divides and multiply out here. Can you see? Don't cancel this and this. Not allowed because it's joined by a plus sign. So multiply this into this. Will give me this. 
and then you multiply with this 10 okay we get the value of x is 5 okay, people now the important question uh, i think this question has come in your board exams so we cannot ignore this question if the median is 525 find the value of x and y oh my god now we have two unknowns x and y remember in the previous question we had one unknown but let me show it to you all we had one unknown and the median was given to us remember you will not find this question in the board's book but i just did this question as an extra question but you have this question in the board's book so here two unknowns are given x and y can you see x and y so two unknowns are given and we need to find the value of these unknowns to help us sum of the frequency is 100 so this is the turning point okay sum of the frequency is 100 that's given to us so this is going to help us so the class interval is supplied to us median is 525 okay class interval is given to us so we need to find the value of x and y i can see what kind of interval is this this is a ready-made interval or an exclusive interval so everything is ready Again, 2 and this one will become 2 plus 5 equals to 7 let's go quick 7 plus this x yes it becomes 7 plus x and then this 7 plus x plus this 12 makes it 19 plus x and then this 19 plus x plus that 17 makes it 19 36 plus x and then this 36 plus x plus this 20 app you understand what i'm trying to doing out here 56 plus x and then this 56 plus x plus this y will become this much only no change now this 56 plus x plus y plus this 9 makes it 65 plus x plus y is this okay now that 65 plus x plus y plus this 7 makes it 65 and 5 7 is 72 plus x plus y this 56 and 9 is 65 i have you understood now this 72 plus x plus y plus 4 makes it 76 plus x plus y okay equals to and people also people also also please notice this note out here sum of the frequencies is 100 sum of the frequencies so sum of all the frequencies is 100 so sum of the frequency n is how much equals to 100 okay people so here here i've come to from this part what I've come to a conclusion is here since n is 100 therefore 76 plus x plus y equals to n means 76 plus x plus y equals to n means what 100 it's okay or not guys x plus y equals to 100 take this in minus 76 which means x plus y equals to 100 minus 76 is 24 just keep this in the head okay from sum of frequencies now okay people let's write down the formula of median this is the formula of median now if you check the question median was given to us how much is the median 525 so whenever median is given the median class will be wherever it falls so where will 525 fall? 525 will fall out here. Can you see people? As a result, this is my median class. Make a habit of writing it out here only. Or else you won't even underline, you won't even make a box, you will not. Have. So that's my median class. So now let's try to get the values. Up it's captured in camera, okay. L. So what's the lower limit of median class? 500 okay people n by 2 be careful n by 2 n sum of frequencies given to us sum of the frequencies sum of the frequencies 100 okay so n is the sum of frequencies or value of n is 100 so 100 by 2 means 50 
okay cf cf is what cumulative frequency of class preceding median class so this is the median class what's the cumulative frequency of class preceding median class 36 plus x okay f f is what people frequency of f is what frequency of median class so what's the frequency of median class check 20 so value of f is 20 what's the value of h h is the class size so always upper limit minus lower limit 600 minus 500 will give me 100 okay i have everything now so let's put down these values and see where we head so people my values are ready so median was median is given to me in the question it's 525 yes if you see the question out if the median is 525 so median is 525 i have the value of l l is how much 500 n by 2 n by 2 don't be confused will know n by 2 is 50 right 50 cf cumulative frequency of preceding class 36 plus x always there's a minus sign put a bracket guys don't forget this frequency 20 into h class size is how much when you subtract 600 minus 500 is 100 up it's okay people so let's move further bring this 500 to the left hand side sign changes this is okay look here out here 50 minus into plus is minus minus into plus is minus uh, by I can cancel this 20 into 1 20 into 5 times so I'm left with nothing but 1 into 5 to make things simple for you all so if you subtract how much 525 minus 500 is 25 50 minus 13 is 46 minus x by 1 even if I write that one or if I don't write that one makes no difference into 5 I hope this is okay up it's captured in the camera yes 25 equals to 5 into 14 is 70 5 into x is minus 5x because it's minus x so numbers numbers one side 25 minus 70 this one goes that side minus 70 minus 5x so if I subtract I'll end up with minus 50 minus uh, 45 Yes, 45, 50, 60, 70 equals to minus 5x. Cancel the minus signs. So 45, this 5 will come down equals to x. So if it's captured in the camera, so so the value of x is 9. Now wait, people. Now wait. There's something. We have to find the value of y. So remember, you've already got this. 76 plus x plus y plus n equals 200. Which means you have already got this x plus y equals to 24. Remember this, guys. So let's go there now. We have already got x plus y equals to 24. If you don't believe me, guys, go back here. Can you see? We've already got x plus y equals to 24. Now we've just now got x is how much? 9 so the value of x is 9 so y equals to 24 y equals to 24 minus 9 so 24 minus 9 is 15 therefore x equals to 9 and y equals to 15 this is how we solve into unknowns are given ok people quick recap of what we have achieved in median ok firstly raw data type Secondly, frequency was given but without class interval. Thirdly, frequency with class interval, I mean to say exclusive. Then we had inclusive interval, we did this. We did less than type and then we did with one unknowns and we did it with two unknowns. So this is the whole package for median. Okay people, a uh, few questions as homework. Check it and stay safe. Okay people, you won't find these questions in the board's book, so I want you all to do these questions as your homework. For question number 10, the value of x will be 10, and for the next question, the value of x will be 34, and y equals to 46. Also, you'll do these remaining questions from your board's book as your homework, from question number 12 to question number 15. Okay people, stay home and stay safe.